continue on. Actually, the next place we're going to go is our prep department. Uh, this is just basically where we prep any of our smaller um, components that need to be pre-assembled before installation, including uh, our wiring harnessing, which you'll notice as soon as you're up there. So, so what we're looking at here are wiring harness tables or schematics, and they will, um, it's essentially a template so that our electricians here, our prep electricians can um, wire or, put, or assemble a wiring harness so that it's the same every single time. That way there's no guesswork, there's nothing we're cutting out, adding in. Um, any given Oliver travel trailer that you can pick and choose from will have the same wiring harness as the last um, And of course that's, we've made up, up, updates over the years, but if you took a batch of Oliver's built the same time frame, they've, they've all got the same uh, harness. That's the way to do it. Well, in the name of streamlining production and making it a, qual a more quality product, we know that there's that there's nothing missing here because it's it's a visual that our guys can put to the eyes on. And I mean, you know, um, one of the next things I want to go over is our, our drawers here. As you know, we're kind of known for our drawer quality here, and we do get a little loud over here. But we do have um, nice dovetail joints. Um, we're using real wood. This is poplar and birch wood. So we try to stay away from press board um, where we can and um, give you something that's going to hold up and last you for a really long time. So it's not just the outside of the Oliver, the, the nuts and bolts, but it's the, the smaller things, the finesse things that we want to last for a really long time. So. A number of different things happening here. Uh, Doug is sitting here. Um, he's actually installing a uh, sink and a faucet to this fiber granite. And he's also going to inlay the stove in that other cutout right next to it. So that's all done here in prep as well. Um, you can see that he's got a nice tip up here as well to do even the, the bathroom um, sink here. They will build the um, mirrored doors. They'll, put, they'll add the frames and the magnets and all of the, the drip pan, all of that stuff for that bathroom door. And then he's actually sanding on a um, bumper right now, giving it a nice brushed look. Um, what we'll do is so this is the insulation that we're using. Um, as you know, with the Oliver being a double hole travel trailer, you're pretty well insulated as it is because you have an air gap that's a buffer um, zone for, and, a, and, a, and a barrier for heat and uh, cold, cold temperatures. But this actually adds a lot more insulation and it's essentially a radiant and um, vapor barrier insulation. It's a closed cell polyethylene foam foil on both sides. So this is essentially uh, going to prevent any radiant heat or cold weather from coming in, but it's also going to prevent condensation in your travel trailer. So when you hear people with travel trailers talking about water beating up on their walls, it's just simply not a problem that the Oliver has. Let's say there's your double hull, outside, inside. Right. Where's that mounted? This is going to be mounted on the upper liner and on the lower shell. So it's on the lower portion, it's actually on the outer shell. Okay. On the upper portion, it's actually on the inner liner. The inner so there's only one layer per, you know, one on the top and one on the bottom. Um, two layers would be redundant and, mm -hmm. and it would kind of um, negate some of the air gap areas because in some sections of the air gap you could have a little over an inch and then in other sections you could have a little over an eighth of an inch. How is it adhered with an with a adhesive spray? Do you have any idea how, how that holds up after 20 years? It actually does really well. Based on stuff that I've seen come down, Obviously, I can't tell you 20 years because we yeah, haven't been no. around that long. Right. But, um, but from what I've seen, and I've been in, uh, heavily involved with service at, and at one point in my career here, and from what I can tell, it stays together pretty well. Okay. Um, the glue that they use is, 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 you know, made is made to last for a long time. So once it's on, it's pretty well on. And because of the enclosed nature of the travel trailer, there's really no chance for it to come As a matter of fact, I can tell you as an example, 
I also used to do fiberglass repair here. And any time we had to do a repair underneath this stuff, get it off, took some time. I mean, you had to, we'd have to take scrapers, you know, scrape it off, sand it a little bit, scrape it a little bit, break it down with some acetone, so it's all got pretty good. There's your pantry. Yep, there's your pantry oh, right there with the two shelves about it. Uh, shower pan, all your different plumbing fittings are going to be done here. Um, your hardware will be installed on things like your closet, your latches and whatnot. You've got the recessed uh, fire extinguisher. The hinge will be installed here. And it's just stuff that, like I said, they're going to do this so that it's easy to pick it up and install it on the production lines. Nice. So I didn't need the fire extinguisher. Um, which one of the uh, water heaters did you end up on? The instant. The instant hot water heater. It's a great choice. Uh, and I tell people all the time, it's our, our standard water heater is a great water heater. Um, works really well. The instant hot water heater is going to be um, really well for work really well for you guys when it comes to conserving water, conserving propane, and um, essentially allowing you to take a longer shower and, and not have to buy for for the bathroom for <laughs> you know take quick two minutes. When you guys are all four out together. And you all four are ready to take a shower before bed. You're gonna really love having this room of water here. <laughs> so you can see, um, like most trailer manufacturers, and and even in homes you see now, PEX is the way to go. Uh, nothing special, nothing uh, you know unique to Oliver. Everybody's pretty well going that way. And it's nice because you can. It's flexible. It's got an expanding um, property. So if it if it was to have freezing water in there which is highly unlikely in an Oliver, but if it did, it would at least try to expand before it busted. Um, we use these quick connect fittings as well, so you know, don't have to be an expert plumber to, or, a, or a, a, a glue smith to get in here and, and work these connections. You can very easily pop those on and off. So another thing that we've got here is our uh, water pump and the accumulator that's mounted in line with the water pump. The accumulator, again, standard feature with Oliver, and essentially what it's going to do is, is create constant pressure for your water pump. You're not going to have uh, spitting and sputtering of air that's, that your uh, water pump is, 